Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. Alright, so we're doing this video on the coolant temperature sensor on a, on a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta. So essentially I was sent out to um, diagnose and fix this vehicle because it had an overheating issue. Uh, apparently it was the coolant was boiling uh, in the reservoir you guys have that issue particularly with that kind of situation you guys might want to look at a couple of things all right you guys might want to look at a the thermostat which i was out there to change i did change that out i was also uh, there to do a flush but didn't really do the flush just replace the coolant and also the coolant temperature sensor but if you guys have an issue where uh, you see the coolant boiling in the reservoir you guys might also want to change the uh, the cap all right it's supposed to be a pressurized system if the gasket on the cap uh, is worn out or it's loose or it has deteriorated it's not going to have an a tight seal uh, where it creates a vacuum you're going to have boiling at where the reservoir is um, that's one thing that you guys want to look for um, the other thing is probably you guys could probably look for the water pump or coolant temperature sensor or as stated before the thermostat obviously and you guys want to make sure that you guys have coolant at the correct level and that you don't have a shortage of coolant now uh it's this is not a very difficult thing it's a very the the uh, coolant temperature sensors you guys can see uh, that's what it looks like it's very easy to get to it's um on the passenger side right close to where the radiator 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 is on the very left side of the vehicle just look down there's a plug unplug it it's held on by a large c-clamp all right uh take the c-clamp out take the take the sensor off it should um it should pop out a lot of times a lot of times uh, the rubber gasket will keep it from popping out but considering where it's located you could just pretty much um you know just wiggle a little bit it should be loose uh if it's not just wiggle a little bit the c-clamp is the only thing that's holding the uh the temperature sensor in place once you take the c-clamp off or once you open up the c-clamp you could just pop it out once you pop it out you can swap it out now you might want to just swap it out and uh just pop the new one in before plugging in or you could plug it in before plugging in either way is your choice but you want to make sure that when you pop it in that the c-clamp goes over uh the ring on the coolant temperature sensor because if it doesn't and you want to make sure to feel that it's tight in there uh maybe just wiggle a little bit try to try to uh pull it out that c-clamp should keep it in place where it doesn't come out and you guys want to make sure that it pops in all the way because if it doesn't you're going to have the situation where you turn your car and you're going to have coolant absolutely uh just rushing out gushing out and that's something you guys definitely don't want in this situation um it's a fairly easy thing to get to those uh coolant temperature sensors they do go out of, uh after a hundred thousand miles or so they're inexpensive you can buy them on amazon ebay for like 30 30 40 dollars possibly if you get them at an auto zone any of these stores they might charge you um, a lot more but the uh the job is pretty much uh, an easy job uh and uh after if you guys are doing this job you guys should definitely probably just change out the thermostat too um water pump should probably be the last thing you guys look for um considering it's probably in considering it's a bigger job and you know if it's not leaking or whatever the, the water pump on this vehicle is a mechanical water pump 
It's not an electric water pump. It's a mechanical water pump. So if, as long as it's not leaking, you should be want, fine on the water pump most of the time. All right. So the the the, the gasket cap, the um, that the cooling temperature sensor and the thermostat are the three things that you guys will be looking at in this situation and and the level of the coolant if you guys have a situation like this in any case hope this has helped you guys out with your issues you guys have any comment please leave a comment please subscribe all that good stuff guys take care